Hello, welcome back to my channel. I haven't been on here for a while. Um, I've been quite busy. I've been making a custom order and I thought I'd just pop on um, and just do a quick flip through of it today. Um, obviously, as you can see, I did um, make a drawstring bag for it out of this lovely fabric uh, just with matching ribbons. And I just felt this was quite a nice way to present this journal. And obviously, I felt that the fabric did go quite well with the um, the theme of this journal. If this is a custom order, um, it's made from um, it's an altered book. Um, obviously, a lovely green colour. I just adore this colour. Um, popped a little image on the front, and it's a hitch post uh, fastening with some seam binding. And I have put actually the lady that it's going to. I have just popped a little charm oops, on the front, but you can't see that, J, uh, just to dangle from there and then just altered it up with bits of washi tape, doily, coffee dyed and a lovely flower fairy image. What I might just do is zoom in just for a while we're looking at it in closer detail. I've got a new setup today. I did take on board somebody's advice about my poor children's arms waving around and aching. So I have rigged up something to the clothes horse. I haven't got a tripod, but my husband's helped me to rig this up. So hopefully it will. I don't want to go in too close because I don't want to see the detail. But... Okay, so we'll try it there. So you can see that the seam binding um, closure, and you just simply lift that off the hitch post, and there's the the little post there. It is quite a thick spine. I haven't had to alter the spine. It was this thick anyway. Um, so obviously I've managed to get two signatures in here. It is really quite chunky and just oh, full of layers and just lovely really. But without having that awful kind of crocodile alligator shape, it has actually kept its shape quite well. So going into the book, I just recovered the inside of the book, this gorgeous um, paper, I can't remember where I had that from, and obviously just made a tuck spot out of the little mason jar, and photo uh, coffee dyed some paper, and this is a note from the bookmaker, and it just says things like, uh, you like paper, you like the look of this book, but you're wondering what you could possibly use it for, and it then goes on to talk a little bit, bit about junk journalers. Um, and junk journals and I love that and I do believe that was a freebie from Jibid Neary I think it was throughout this journal I will link or I will um, reference all the people that have inspired me with it there's many um, but I'm fairly sure that was Jibid Neary and I think this was a freebie from Ephemera's Vintage Garden I'm not 100% sure the journal is a mix of, um, oh I bet that wasn't in frame, look, uh, it is a mix of um, printables and original ephemera as well, so we'll just quickly flip through. This was a little envelope, it is inspired by Roxy Creations, I just collaged up some old book page and made an envelope, there's nothing in it but obviously that's free for someone to put things in there. A little library card that I've turned into a journaling card and a bit of decoration. I have reinforced the spine both with um, cardboard and then also with this lovely lace trim going over. Made a little cluster there. I can't remember where these were a freebie from. And this was inspired by Girl on the Ridge, Laurie, Girl on the Ridge. Um, she just makes these little envelopes, well envelope shape, out of bits of coffee dyed paper. And they're so sweet. There's quite actually quite a lot of journaling space on there, and I just thought that looked quite nice tucked under there. Um, printable page there, and I've just sewn around the edge. This is just a little envelope. Again, the theme that the lady wanted for this was botanical, garden, nature, and apparently green. So this I've tried to do a little nod to all of those things, and I hope she'll be pleased with it. There's a matching journaling card in there. I just backed that with some cream card. And pop that on there. And I did think actually 
the little flap off the envelope because the way it's been printed it's, it, it actually looks pretty on both sides um, I made another little cluster here just with some um, stamped images and bits of lace and old book page, coffee page um, and I popped a little butterfly um, charm on there just supported with a, a bulb pin this was inspired by Gail Agostinelli um, with her fabric flips so I just made my own fabric flip out of material or fabric that I'd got in that I felt went quite well with this page and obviously you flip that and you've got all underneath there for journaling. I left that page as it is, I just thought it was so pretty with a few shears I just popped a bit of lace trim down the side. Going over there's all this, I want journaling space, I did want this journal to be both good for journaling in because I do believe that's what journals are for but at the same time full of pretty things to look at, to touch, to feel, different textures so that's what I've aimed to um, do. This was a printable I had from Roxy Creations, I've left that as it is, just printed it on photograph paper and then done a little flip so you've got somewhere to journal and you could always you know glue a page in if you wanted more writing space but there is plenty in here that's just obviously the other side of that just really pretty and went with this paper that I happen to have in um, I also made this little it could be a journaling card it could be a bookmark um, just with shabby dabby doodars collage paper that I bought and um, just pop some trim at the top and card on the back and then I've just sewn around it on the sewing machine and I, I don't know, it was going to be a journaling card, but actually I quite would like that as a bookmark. I'd love this journal myself, I also have to say. It's right up my street. I think that's why I've enjoyed working on it. I think if you obviously doing journals, the colours or the theme appeal to you, I think it's just easier and comes together. This is another Shabby Dabby Doo Dar uh, vintage um, printable I've got. I actually toned the colours down a little bit. Um, and then just made a little flip with coffee dye paper on the back so you've got all that that you could journal on but it's obviously all hidden away and I think sometimes that's quite nice this is from a gardening book that I've got and I just left that as it is just thought it's quite interesting and just obviously paper punched down the side and left that side I felt the colours went with this that I'd got um, this is actually from a piece of wallpaper, I just cut it out and I thought that looked quite nice on there. Made another little journaling card here with lots of little flips and little clusters of fabric and again held on with the ball pin and a vintage button from the 1970s. That's actually from a stash that I acquired uh, from my mum's stash, so quite a lot of sentimental things in here as well. This um, pocket is actually inspired by Roxy Creations. It's a book page, another book page, and then I've just sewn around it. Going over the page, this is the centre of this signature. Um, I've just, obviously, I've done the three-hole pamphlet stitch, and I've just popped little leaves on the end of here. I just, again, felt the colour, and that punch went well with the style. This is actually a Shabby Dabby Doo Dar vintage um, a printable digi kit and what I've done is taken another sheet and actually cut out these stamps or stamped images and just pop them down the side for some interest and again on this side using some decoupage glue to raise it up for a bit more interest. I'm just going to check I am in frame just about. It's quite difficult doing this but okay better than my children's arms waving around I believe. Um, I can't remember where I had this printable from but again that just folds out I've put it on a hinged piece of coffee dye paper so that it folds and you can open it as many times as you like it's lovely and strong I made an altered paper clip here and um, just out of different fabrics and that is holding on this side um, I turned this, I can't remember where I had this from, it might be Artie Mays, I can't remember, but I just decided to do it um, on some paper and I just thought that made quite a nice little, it reminds me of vintage writing paper actually from when I was little and just thought that looked lovely on there. Uh, plenty of journaling on here and just a strip to decorate, the other side of the butterfly paper. This idea I had from Yvonne Preston and basically it's coffee dye paper folded up it looks a little bit like an envelope or a bit of a folded up pop some seam binding and some cheesecloth along there and just stitched with a zigzag and then obviously when you fold it out you've got all that journaling space but it's all kept quite neat and tidy in there 
oh and I popped a little journaling card behind there I think that is Artie Mays's the other side of the Roxy Creations digi kit I've popped a fabric ruffle down here just stitched it with a zigzag and popped it down there uh, the other side of the fuchsia page and I just wanted something over here that was a bit matching so I made a little um, a rough shabby fabric flower here out of fabric pot to button and some twine in and that's obviously folds out so plenty to journal there I'll just check it's in frame yep and then I just made this little booklet well it's not a booklet actually it's just folded over and popped an image there that I thought went with the rest of it just check um, this is actually old wallpaper that I'd got um, and I just felt that went quite well with this one from a different wallpaper over there. This was, I can't remember where this printable was from um, but it's basically very very old, it's 1913, an old check I think it is and it just looks quite a bit of interesting ephemera and obviously loads to journal on the back. Of there so that goes in that little pocket uh, the back of the printable page and then we're just on the last page of this signature this again folds out I love this I just cut the top off a piece of uh, music paper the butterflies ball I thought that was so good with this and this is again a little girl on the ridge um, idea and it's basically just a page topper I just put a lovely image on there with some eyelash trim um, I rubber stamped on the back of book page and pop that on there and then you can see we're going into the second signature and I did want something to just tie in with the end of the first signature which is why I used another image from the same set that this was from and I just made an interesting little cluster there and did another little girl on the ridge um, envelope well faux envelope that you just fold up and then you can journal in that and obviously punched along there. Um, a little bird. Um, I can't remember where I had these journal cards from, but again, that you just flip up. Again, I've put it on a little hinged piece for strength. This is from a vintage bird book, and I've also made a little notepad here, just a little faux notepad. So there's loads to journal in there. Um, left that page as it is but just popped a bit of fabric trim down there and then this is the charm in the second signature this time it's a dragonfly on a ball pin with just a bit of washi tape back of some grid paper um, I can't remember where I've had this idea from I'm really sorry but basically it's a doily that you fold in half and it acts like, um, like a tuck spot really um, and then I've popped this double tag in there with lots to journal and it's just held really nicely in there with a pretty image that I went, thought went with the green paper. The other side of that is then holding a journaling card, that's from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Another library card in a pocket this time, so you could always add extra things in there. This is an envelope that I've coffee dyed, added a little cluster on. I've hinged it on, how did I do that? I glued it on, then I put that on, that's right, so that it just folds out. I put napkin on here and turn that into a lovely big journaling card, but you could always put other goodies in there, just on some music paper. This is a faux envelope, this is Shabby Dabby Doodah, popped a bit of lace on, and I didn't close this up, and the reason being, let's just check this is in frame because it's a bit tall, the reason was that once you open it out, You've got all that that you can journal on. But then it folds back and it's all very neat. I just decorated the page up there. Uh, this side is a Roxy Creations inspired. Just pop some string round there. And then you open it out and there's all that that you can journal in. I'll tie that back up at the end. Hydrangeas just with a bit of lace down the side there. This was a Patricia Viramonti's idea, basically you make a book page pocket so you have somewhere there, there and there and then I've just made a journaling card 
another little bird one. I thought those two look good together. That's actually out of a book. And these, uh, this is I think Tsunami Rose and just made, it's like a little ticket and made a little tag there and they pop in there and I just inked the edge. This is a bulb bag, it really is a bulb bag. And I filled these with little goodies that I thought she could write on. There is from Shabby Dabby Doodah, just made a little journaling card and did a little rubber stamp of a bird, a little tag. All of these are able to be written on the back, some roses. Uh, this is again from like that check set. I can't remember where I've had that from, but they're just nice for a change from flowers. But there is flowers, there is bees. This is from a vintage um, oh, bridge game uh, notepad scoring card. And I've put an original um, cigarette card in there as well. So they're just some nice goodies to go in there and obviously take them out and put your own things in just left the bag as it was thought it was really quite nice some old maths paper there with trim um, punch down the side so you've got lots to write on I cut out a really large butterfly just to make some interest on this page cut out again this is all the shabby dabby doodah and again on the centre signature I did just pop these little leaf punches just to decorate the ends really. Um, this is another flip out on a hinge so you really hide your writing. Another, um, this is actually a page tab cluster so that it just hangs over the page so you can turn the page. The other side of the bulb bag with other goodies in here. Postcard, another bee journal uh, card, tag. I love these mason jars, I think they're so sweet. And another one. The other side of the bulb bag. Uh, this is another Yvonne Preston idea and basically it's made out of coffee paper. You flip up, you could write all in there and fold it back down. I just put some cheese, uh, eyelash trim and lace. Another library card and I just stamped this one again with the butterfly. All of here to write on. Got some lace trim down here. This is Yvonne Preston idea. Basically it's book page. You um, pop it on and then it flips out so you can write all in here. Close it up, pop some trim on and I've made a little booklet to go in here. Um, I just decolleged that and popped all different sorts of papers. Just oh, love the sound of that. Um, little tuck spot here, I just made it. Um, we need the tonic of wildness. I just thought that was quite a nice little quote. And made some more journaling cards. This is an envelope and I've just popped that on with a lovely detailed heart paper clip saying take time to stop and smell the flowers on music paper. The other side of that just looks pretty. Um, I made this journaling card just hand sewn around it. And that's an envelope. It's actually a Kath Kidston envelope but I thought on this page it looked quite good sort of matches. I did corner punch these pages, I do like the round sometimes. I made this little um, embroidered cross stitched and then I used it on soluble Aida and then transferred it over to this piece of linen and backed it on this paper and again you can flip that right underneath there and pop it back. I thought that was quite nice edge to that. I uh, made a little cluster here with a B, a book page. This is Patricia Viramonti's idea again. And just popped a little mushroom tag in there with lines this time, which is sometimes nice rather than just plain paper. The bird book, a little tuck spot. I've put nothing in there. I thought sometimes it's nice for people to have somewhere to put their own things. And the final page, a cluster wherever life plants you bloom with grace. And I just thought that was a nice little... Um, finish to the book. There's obviously, um, I've left the back plain and obviously that's just the um, the back of the seam binding from the closure which you just pop back over the hitch post which I've, it's the first time I've used hitch posts but I do, I do like them. And that's the whole of my journal. I hope you've enjoyed the flip through. I think it's longer than my usual videos but I hope that it's you know useful and enjoyable and maybe you get some ideas. Uh, thank you again to all the people on YouTube who inspire me and I hope that the recipient of this really enjoys it. So that's all for today and thanks for stopping by. Bye bye.